everybody, Edo here, and this is Hibachi. It is live on Kickstarter right now, and actually today is the last day. Um, <laughs> I got this copy sort of late, and that was fine, and then the holidays, but we've got the video together, and we got some time to play it, and um, this is a pretty straightforward and fun dexterity game, or coin-throwing game, where players are going to be working to be the first player to score three, um, uh, score to create three different dishes from three ingredients, uh, are, which are the ingredients on the table. It's a little bit of a race because the very first player to do it gets it, but it's not a speed game in any in any way, shape, or, or, or form. Um, but you, there is a, you are able to get sort of the first player token as you're going into the recipe, and if you do that and get the card before anyone else, you win. So you want three things. Everyone starts with some cash. Uh, this is like this, it's not paper, it's like a vinyl cash. I asked them, I was like, is this what the vinyl cash is gonna feel like? Because this is a prototype, and they were like, yeah, and I'm like, oh, this is awesome. So you're all gonna start with some fun paper vinyl money. Um, and uh, and you each have a set of poker chips. They have a hole in the middle, which I'll talk about in a second, and then on the back side, uh, they all have different uh, money amounts. So 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, and 600, which will become relevant in a, in a moment. Um, also then, there are ingredient cards, which re reflect what's on the table. So the way that this game works is based on the number of players, you're gonna flip over ingredients. I believe it's plus two, so in a four player game, you're gonna flip over six. And then you are gonna set them at the correct, not on the table, but you know, I don't have that much room, but you're gonna set them at the correct portion, uh, uh, position on the table to represent that these uh, ingredients are available for players. Where, where's the bra, oh, there it is. Um, onion, onion, and you know, whatever. So then, once those are laid out, players have their tokens. I think it's in two or three, you're gonna throw four of these, and in a four player game, you're gonna throw three, um, but you won't throw all of them. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna stand behind the line and toss them. They go onto the table. This is this uh, actually like a double-sided, uh, double, like a, a double level, uh, what's the term for it, but uh, board. So actually they'll bounce off the sides. You can still toss them and miss, but it's a nice little nuance. It's, it's a little bit more than just having a flat table. And from a dexterity game perspective, I appreciate that. Again, you'll certainly miss. You miss, you lose the throw. Um, but what you're going to be doing is trying to land on different ingredients. And I'll tell you why, or these special abilities in the middle. Um, it's not where the token lands, it's where the circle lands. I sort of like it. It may mean you have to be a little bit more accurate, and I think it, it, it becomes a pretty good way to like look in and see if you hit, and generally speaking, there's an alignment that you've clearly hit or not. You still can get into an argument. Okay, so I'm gonna throw tokens on, and, and the first thing that gets resolved is are these special abilities. Whoever's on it, you flip the token. Okay, so everyone's gonna throw everything in one at a time around. You can knock other people's, but you're gonna throw it, picking a portion of yours, so you have to decide how much money, and I'll sort of explain why. And then the first thing we're gonna do is just resolve people who are on the special abilities. If they're, if, if two different people are on it, uh, you're just gonna flip, and whoever has the most total points from their tokens wins it. Uh, and one lets you have another throw, basically at the end. One gives you your own private goal card, one gives you a free ingredient, and the other one lets you be, instantly be the head cook for the remainder of the round, which is a little confusing at first because it continues in the normal order, but it's useful um, you know, when you want to be the first to get a recipe card or to buy something. Okay, those get resolved, and then we look at all of the different foods. Um, if coins land on food, you flip them over, check out the prices. Now, two things happen. First, there's an opportunity to sell. What you're gonna do is tally up all of the uh, chips on, a, on, a, on an ingredient, and whatever that total amount, so this is a 300, a 400, and a 100, so this is 800, that's how much somebody giving up a previously earned recipe card can, can get for it. So one of the interesting things about this game is early on you're trying to get, you spend your money to get goods, but then later on you might not be interested in getting it, you just wanna get a lot of your own tokens on one to sell. Um, if, say for these onions, where there's a bunch of onions sitting on the table, if green decides to sell, they can't buy. So you can't both sell and buy. Um, you may only um, do one or the other. But if you do, you just take your tiles off, or, or your tokens off. Otherwise, you're going to 
look at the total value, and then you have to pay what you threw there. So in this case, even though I moved it over, this is 500. So if green wants this first one, they pay 500, whereas if red want, and then they go, they remove a token. Uh, if red wants it, um, they have to pay 300. So essentially, if you're trying to buy, you're trying to throw a lower number, but um, it might mean you go second, and if there's only one ingredient, you're not gonna get it. So how much are you buying for? How much are you selling for? That's sort of the where the skill and the dexterity comes. Otherwise, you're just collecting goods and trying to do recipe cards. There's a spice or chili uh, little mini ad or expansion that's been put in, which helps the game out a bit because basically like mist, um, uh, every time you miss, you get a chili and they, they sort of become like uh, wild ingredients. It helps speed up the game. It's a little bit thinky. You gotta like think about the amount of money and hitting and so, you, you know, it, there's a little, for, for the simple premise of the throwing, there's a little bit more going on with the economy and selling and what you're trying to do. Uh, that does also add to, since you can knock players and since the value of the tokens is pretty significant, uh, I wouldn't say take that. There aren't any cards where you're literally attacking, but like knocking somebody off of a of, off of a, a, a dish or a thing they really wanted is, you know, be ready for that kind of uh, excitement in your home. And if if you if you don't like that at all, um, you could probably make some some friendly rule where that person gets to move their token back or something. But like you know, there will be somebody who was getting something and can't anymore because they got knocked off of it. Otherwise, that's really it. Um, it, it, once you get used to it, it plays uh, decently quick. Again, the chili cards help or the spice cards help, um, but there is a, a, a decent amount of thinking in there, so it's, it, it's, it's a little slower, uh, but still pretty neat. I really like the double-sided or double um, thickness board and how it uses there. And I, I feel like all, you can't really see it from there, but like all of the different dishes like look like the food you're collecting, and, and, and so I dig this. So overall, it's pretty cool. I like it as a dexterity game. Um, and the Kickstarter is live right now. <laughs> so check it out. Thanks. Bye. Hey everybody, Edo here, and thanks for watching Gaming with Edo. Reviews over here on this playlist, League and Insider videos over here on this one. Subscribe, share, all that good stuff. But most importantly, play some great games. Thanks.